Are you ready for an epic as your standard haul? This baby is $2,045.31 that weighs 477 pounds and takes up the entire dining room table. Fully expanded. I hope it doesn't break. Are you concerned about it breaking? Not at all. You wouldn't even let me put the cabbage in the center of the table. Because it's the center. <laughs> this It's strategically loaded. <laughs> this is by far going to be awesome. I haven't been this excited about a je Blech. Okay. So I'm too excited. <laughs> I have not been this excited for an Azure order in a long time. We have 12 new items. We have two different items that we're going to do taste comparisons on. We have 10 projects that are going to come out of these boxes for us to do. Actually, I think maybe a few more. And the most exciting is that we have three items that we saved a ton of money on. I'm talking over $100 on just Far three out. items, which I think is pretty awesome. Rock and roll. Whole box, yes, because there's four. Next, we have something new. Someone ate our starter. I'm also gonna probably mix up some ranch mix. We have a problem. Oh, All right, so before we start opening up these boxes, I want to tell you about the grocery inventory. I'm not gonna talk a lot about it. I've talked a lot about it in other videos. You can check those out. Right now, I just wanna say that we are going to include prices for this haul, which is something different. And this is something different that you can do with the grocery inventory is use it to... Track pricing? Track pricing. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so let's break into these boxes. Does anybody have a knife? Knife! You need a knife? Nice! <laughs> How about you guys just open the boxes? <laughs> okay. There's food. Nice. What's inside box number one? This is a really light box. I'm confirmed. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> Ooh, right, move loss. Sometimes the shirt cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> the alfalfa seeds are so special that they get their own, their own, own box. box. <laughs> nice. Super excited for alfalfa seeds. Okay, so we've been doing alfalfa seeds and everybody loves them. They're our favorite sprout. So we got two pounds of the alfalfa seeds for $25.16. Next is one of our regular purchases. 10 pounds of grapefruit for $28.45. In here we have some more very regulars. We have four five pound bags of potatoes. We've been getting two to three, and we got four. We kind of got sick of the sweet potatoes, so yeah. I did a few more russet potatoes. Totally delicious. Five pounds of russet potatoes are 683. We also have four five pound bags of carrots. Guess how much the carrots are? 683. <laughs> Eat. Here, can I just take the... You can take the whole box, yes, because there's four... We've got four bags of carrots in here. So the Yum. two pound... Or the I'm two not putting them in the way, I'm just putting them on the floor. Now that it's closer okay. to spring, we're going to be juicing some of those as well. Yes. And Asher did some fermented shredded carrots. Pretty good? They're, They're very okay. salty. A little salty. Next, we have 25 pounds of peppers. Now, this is something that's a little new. We have been getting peppers, but we haven't been getting 25 pounds. The 25 pounds runs $63, and we are hoping to be able to use them over the course of the entire month by cutting them up and freezing them, at least some of them, some of them. probably like two weeks worth, um, per the advice of one of our wonderful viewers who commented with the idea. I'm not sure if I'm gonna love it. I generally hate frozen vegetables. Frozen vegetables. <laughs> But we're gonna try it. Tomorrow, Kevin has a job of cutting up and freezing peppers. Next, we have 15 dozen eggs. One of the things I'm really excited about is that these are not like in those trays that are really floppy and hard to maneuver. 
They are all in one dozen egg cartons. And this is one of our huge price savings. So normally we spend $6.29 on a dozen eggs. And when you buy the 15 dozen, it comes out to be $4.35 per dozen. To spread that over 15 dozen, we save $29.10 on eggs. I'm so excited. If this works well and if we can find enough space in our fridge, I say we get two of these next month. And it almost covers our eggs for the four weeks. Rock and roll. We eat 30 dozen eggs in four weeks. And they look like they look really good. It's got some stuff on there. That's good. I like the stuff. So these eggs, the Gwendolyn's organic eggs, are hatched, raised, and laying in Oregon's Willamette Valley. They enjoy an all-organic diet with vegetarian feed and plenty of access to pasture. Mm. So makes me want to have chickens again. I yeah. I'm excited about that. Do me a favor, Grayson. Don't uh, scramble them on the way to the garage. I would not want All right. Next, we have something new. <sighs> something soft. We have three packs of gloves. These were on sale, and I... I want to open them? I'm, nope, I'm going to open these. I have been wanting to have some gloves in the kitchen just to have on hand for certain things. Sometimes some people, oh, they're perfect. They're going to be too small for you, but they're perfect for men, Harper and I. Real men don't wear gloves. And they're I nice. Like they're not, right. they're kind of like, they have like a fabric feel on the inside. The touch. I think, the yeah, they'll fit you. Yeah. I think they're nice. <clears throat> so they were on sale wanted to try them out i think they're perfect i think that it's always good to have gloves on hand and the gloves were 10 17 for all three next we have a greek yogurt starter i actually ordered two of these i ordered the cultures for health which we've been using along with this one or that i guess we were using yeah um someone ate our starter <laughs> oh Someone Who? ate our starter. Who? Daddy ate the starter. Daddy ate the starter. So we've gone like that two, three one. weeks without yogurt, which was kind of a bummer. The Greek yogurt starter was 10.23. Now the great thing about this is that, as I've kind of implied, you use it once, you make a starter with the powder in here, and then you reuse your starter over and over and over again. So it's not something that you have to rebuy unless you eat all your starter. You're not gonna let that go, are you? No, you can't do that. <laughs> Next we have the whole milk powder. This is another new item. I'm actually planning on trying this out for, I use it as a bath soak. It's comparable in pricing. I think it might actually be a little bit cheaper, but it's also one of those things that, although we don't use powdered milk ever <laughs> or often, um, it's one of those things that's good to have on hand in case of emergency. You can use it for consumption, but for now we can just use it to take baths in. This little bag of whole milk powder is 1557, and I believe it's 20, yeah, 26 ounces. Yo. Better be some really good milk. Well, my plan is to buy it in bulk. Remember, I had a much bigger bag of it in the cart, but we were mm. trying to kind of keep it under two grand. And so Fail. this is one of the things that got, we, we just want to try it. I want to compare it to the other milk because when you buy it in the larger quantities, it does end up being cheaper than the other milk that I've been using. Next, we have our pecan halves. This is one of our regulars. Usually I get it in the five pound bag, but this was another one of those items that got subject to the cut so that we could get some more new things. So the two pounds of pecans are $20.73. Again, it's one of those things that I like to buy in the larger quantities because they do end up being much cheaper, but we sacrificed on this order. All right, next we have mung beans. Five pound bag is $13.58. This is not really something new, but it's not something that I order often. We use these for sprouting. I'm actually kind of, I don't know. I'm not happy with the 
sprouting that we did with the last batch of mung beans. The sprouts, it seemed like they were still, like the, the bean part was still hard and the sprouts weren't fully developed and then they started going to, like they started developing leaves. And so Harbor's gonna throw them out somewhere. <laughs> We're going to see if they grow, <laughs> but we're going to try again. My only concern is that they were really old, but I don't think that would have anything to do with what happened. So we're going to just do some more experimenting to see how we can prevent that from happening. Who's your standard? Standard of healthy and abundant living. Seals fire. May. Oh. Next we have one of my favorites that I think is a hidden secret that's not such a hidden secret because they were out of these last month and I kind of hesitated with the idea of telling people about them more because I don't want them to go out of stock every time. The coconut date rolls, five pounds for $28.93 and oh my goodness, I love them. The kids Most love of them. the kids love them. They're just such a great, quick, easy snack. Asher and Grayson don't love them. The little kids. Like I don't them. like coconut. I don't like dates. I don't like the What's either. about it? They're so delicious. Those I cocoa. like bland chicken and rice. Beavers. Chicken and rice. Oh, and beef jerky. Okay. And ginger beer. Where's the beef jerky? Barbecue chicken. Six eighty-three. All right, Bratwurst. babes. Next, we've got those other two five-pound bags of potatoes, like we talked about earlier. Six eighty-three each. Six hundred eighty-three pennies. And then we have another new item. I got some buttermilk powder. We are going to do some experimenting making buttermilk ranch. Um, we're gonna try a couple different recipes, both using the buttermilk powder and some fresh buttermilk and kind of just see what we think, what we like, what we don't. I'm also gonna probably mix up some ranch mix powder so that it's just really easy to whip up whenever we want it. And it's going to be a great way to use some of that sour cream that we have a plethora of. Nice. You throw it to Asher. So the buttermilk powder is 16 ounces, so one pound, and it is 842. Again, one of those things that if you get more, you get more, you save more. And then, man, this was a full box. That was a good box. <laughs> so that's that good packing skills last, that he was talking about. Last, yeah, this this box, like. Total opposite of that first box we opened. <laughs> so last, this is something new-ish for now. It's, we haven't been doing milk kefir. In like 10 years. In, it's been like six. So we are going to give this a try again. Um, everybody's been loving all of the fermented and cultured foods. So I used to make it however long ago, and I used to put it in my smoothies. I never really enjoyed drinking it straight, but I'm thinking that with everyone loving the cultures and such that I think you guys might like it straight. If not, we can just use it for smoothies. Mm -hmm. wow. So the milk kefir grains are 1973. So if you have someone around you that has milk kefir grains, ask them because they just reproduce and you can get them for free. Um, I wasn't that smart <laughs> to ask around. It was more of a, like, let's give this a try. But again, this is one of those things that if you, once you start these, they do, they, they're very prolific and they will just multiply and you don't have to buy this again. This says produce soft. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> We have three bunches of cilantro. I am really happy that I didn't order multiple of these because that is a hefty bunch of cilantro. Nice. Like, that's more like eight bunches of cilantro that you would get at the store. So the cilantro is 6.30 for these three slash 10 bunches. One, two, three, yeah. That's huge. It looks really good. And then we have green peppers. These guys are tiny. Well, Look at those. They're little. Just a bunch of little guys. You have to guys. get you have to get creative using these. So the green peppers are seven fifty per two hundred 
Two pound, one pound, two pound, two pound. Per two pound bag. Next we have two bunches of celery. We've previously been getting like four or more. Um, and I'm kind of happy that we didn't get a bunch. This is a little bit more narrow. I'm not sure if it's why, but it doesn't look as good as it normally does. The celery is, it's both of these for three fifteen. dollars So celery is pretty cheap. Thanks. I see something. I see something. <sighs> Next we have kiwi. <laughs> so we've got four pounds of kiwi for Kevin to enjoy for fourteen seventy. Oh man. <laughs> okay. So it's a dollar a day. I have to say, unboxing and like noting the price as we unbox each item isn't as fun as just Whoa, unboxing it and not I'm thinking like, my about indulgence it. Is so expensive. I'm realizing how expensive I'm becoming. With those 15 dozen eggs, you're like and I'm thinking, sweet, we saved twenty nine dollars. Go buy more eggs. <laughs> Would you like to go put those away? No, how do they feel? No. I want to see how they feel. Yeah. Yeah, they're rock hard. So let them sit out overnight. Next, we have two pounds Ooh. of lemons for six thirty. These look, these look really good. So we haven't been using a lot of lemons and limes, and so usually two pounds lasts us through the four weeks. But I can use I half of that. I expect that with uh -huh. summer coming and our menu changing a little bit with kebabs that we're going to probably be going through a lot more of these. I can smell these. Yeah? I can smell them, yes. Next we have two pounds of jalapenos. Now, Asher had been using these for his fermented pineapple, which he hasn't made in a little while, and he's let a few pineapple go bad. So I'm not gonna order any for a while. I got these for myself because we have been I would say indulging on pickled jalapenos, and I think they're delicious. And I said, rather than buying them, I would like to make my own. So we're gonna do a little bit of experimenting, try these out. We also have something else that's gonna be coming in one of these boxes that we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get there. The two pounds of jalapenos are, the two pounds of jalapenos are 6.93 each. Sorry, Mimi, we ate your jalapenos. <laughs> Next we have one of our regular purchases, the one pound bags of ginger. We've got two of them and they are 6.30 each. Oh my goodness, we just tried some of the ginger beer tonight. If you haven't seen the video before this one, go watch it because that ginger beer was amazing. I think that we have perfected that recipe. So Thank you. I'm really excited. Good job, Fred. Good job Grayson. Now I'm gonna, I'm still trying to perfect the ginger ale. Because right now he's like, We have hey. a problem. <gasps> Get it. Someone didn't open my box. Oh, that was me, here. that was me. I just like seeing you use my knife. <laughs> All right, this is, I feel like it's like a gift box. The way that it's all. Oh, this is a fun one. <laughs> all right. We have four bottles Look at that cream line on that. of milk. That is nice. impressive, especially considering it just got shipped. that it, yeah. I mean, look at that. So we. That's we, breakfast for dead now. And lunch. So we just upped our raw milk share. I never thought that we were gonna need even more milk, but one of the great things about this is that it works well for the yogurt. And to keep that starter going, it's so much easier than to use the pasteurized, hold on. It's not homogenized, it's pasteurized. It is a little bit easier to use the milk that's already been pasteurized so that you don't have to pasteurize it yourself. We added this to get a little bit more yogurt into our month. So, the, Hello. 
Each bottle of milk is seven thirty-five. Yo, is this a half gallon? It is. Oh my goodness. It's not even a half gallon. It's not even. So it's technically like it's even. I think it's more than our raw milk. Yes, it is by about three or four dollars. But the difference is that I can add on. So with our raw milk, we have to do. We have to commit to the same amount each week. I can add on and have a little bit more for the month. Okay, go to the kitchen. The kids are milk deprived because Kevin didn't go get the milk. So, get your husband out of your hair. Next we have 25 pound bags of spelt. We have actually two of these. We've been using spelt for a lot. Harbor's been really loving it to make a lot of the sourdough stuff. And she... I got nothing. Oh, that's right. So we actually... So we actually do have quite a bit of spelt on hand as it is. So this is one of those other projects that I was talking about where we're going to be storing these in the one gallon Mylar bag. The 25 pound bags of spell are 31.45 each. Next is red wine vinegar. And for all you people who have downloaded the grocery inventory and have not let me know that there was a typo in well rewind vinegar, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> There's actually quite a few typos in the grocery inventory. I probably should send out a um, update one of these nah, days. No, it's totally <laughs> custom. I forgot if you asked your husband. Let me make three. sure, like, it, yeah, it was R-E-W. <laughs> so this is something that we tried ordering last week. This is something that we tried ordering last month and it was out of stock. So I'm thankful that we were able to get it this month, especially with the Azure Warehouse Fire that's going to be slowing down their bottled products. We're planning on making some pickled onions and mm. that's kind of what I'm excited about this for. One gallon of red wine vinegar is 2154, 2151. Nice. Even better, <laughs> save four pennies. Three. <laughs> Jeez, can't count. Uh, next, we have our beloved olive, no, avocado oil. We usually, I think we've been going through about two gallons of this every four weeks. I would love to stock up on it, but each gallon is $49.01. So, it's a little expensive, um, but you know, last the last video, um, we were talking about the expiration dates. I am curious as to what these okay. are. I learned that avocado oil has one of the longest periods before, yeah, shelf life, that one. And the expiration date on this is 3-21-24. That, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like we could have a lot of this on our shelf and If I had to pick it. between the two, I like using the avocado oil more than the olive oil, but I understand the olive oil's got Compounding benefits. So I like the I like the cooking with the avocado oil, and I really like the olive. Wait, did I say avocado? Yeah. And I like salad dressings made with olive oil. Heat with, eat with. That's how yes. we distinguish. Yes. Get rid of it. Okay, it's been a long day, and I am going to finish this haul. But man, oh man. Sunday nights are not good nights for Azure deliveries. Yeah, Azure does not come on <laughs> Sunday Sunday. off day. I'm even more grateful that tomorrow is kind of a day off. Oh, my goodness. Okay. If you didn't know that tomorrow's a, a family holiday, well... <laughs> Take it. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you see this, it's, it's tomorrow. This is... Why on earth did you buy egg whites? Did not buy egg whites. So this is another one of those pack jobs. This could have been combined with that other box and it would have fit so well. Because look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's 
sure. They just had a couple items that they just really wanted to make feel special and put them in their box what is by that? themselves. Cream cheese. This is two and a half pounds of cream cheese. This is a new item for mm. us. Old fashioned. Cream we cheese. actually have a few different cream cheeses coming because this is one of our taste samplings that we're going to do, taste testing, where we're gonna compare a variety of different cream cheese. Harbor made some homemade einkorn bagels. No. No, no. were they spelled? Hard, hard red wheat. Oh, they were? Harbor made some homemade hard red wheat bagels today so that tomorrow for breakfast we can sample cream cheese. This gal cooked up a storm in that kitchen. What did you make today? I made bagels. I made, I somewhat made, I popped a little bit of lunch. I made enchiladas and samples. So you cooked pasta, heated the meat sauce, cut the cheese, wrapped the cheese, did the bagels, and the enchiladas, which were amazing. Yeah, the enchiladas were really good. With those, those... almond flour tortillas. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Dad, go. <laughs> so our cream cheese number one for the 2.5 pounds is 1538. That's not too bad. But that's bad. a lot of cream cheese. That is hefty. Yeah. Like, dang. Three simple ingredients, cultured milk, cream, and sea salt. Next we have cabbage. Cabbage is great for everything. Do you want me to turn it around and do you? Nope, <laughs> that's it. it just, cabbage is great for everything. <laughs> That dude owes me twenty dollars from the last cabbage batch. Oh yeah. Because he didn't make no sauerkraut. Because that was the greed pond. Who is gonna make sauerkraut? Me. We've got forty pounds of cabbage for Asher to make sauerkraut with, and a little bit of kimchi. Oh dang. Inside one of the other videos, we talked about scheduling your projects when you order yours. Your order. I still have to bottle the last <gasps> sauerkraut. Oh babe. It's soured. <laughs> Crow. <laughs> it's a good thing we like our ferments. Mom? It's so good though. Mom, what is this? That's why it's so important to actually go through and schedule out your projects. <laughs> Don't be like me. 40 pounds of cabbage is $63. So the reason why we got the 25 pounds of peppers is because when you buy them in two pound increments versus the 25 pounds, and there's not anything in between, we were gonna get, I think, 16. we were talking about getting six to eight packs of peppers. And I was like, I can spend $10 more and get the full 25 pounds. You get like an extra 10 pounds and it's free. So that's kind of why we went with the 25 pounds of peppers. And with the cabbage, it's the same thing. You can get a, like it's usually two heads in a bag versus the 40, well we go through the 40 pounds easily. So. All right, next we have another regular, our olive oil. Once again, bottled by Azure, so don't know exactly what the stock's gonna be like on these. Um, one gallon is $43.79. Best Buy, $7.523. All right, we've got a handful of regulars here, so I'm gonna do my best to breeze through these because we're all tired and wanna go to bed. <laughs> this looks like a new sticker. It is a new sticker. So we have our jalapeno jack cheese, Grazer's jalapeno jack. Azure has a couple different pepper jack, pepper this, pepper that. The Grazer's jalapeno jack is the best. By far. And it's not terribly expensive either. I well, I think it's going up because it's much closer to the cheddar. Ooh, yeah. When you buy them as 10 pounds, so both five pound bricks in a box, it's cheaper, and it is $74.12 for both of them. And if you're afraid of ordering this much cheese, it freezes pretty well. Yeah. Next, we have our raw milk, white cheddar, grass-fed, aged over 120 days. This is the Sierra Nevada Organic. Again, there's a lot of different cheddar cheeses on the Azure website, this right here. Take note of the label. This one is the best. I'll also, usually there's a link below. Um, the cheddar cheese is, ready? Oh, 
the cheddar. Tell me what talk. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> the cheddar cheese is 88.64 for the 10 pounds. Next we have our butter. We get 30 double sticks of butter. They come in this case and it is 89.09. That price has gone up. So one of the things wow. that I talked about doing is going back and looking at like one year, two year, five year back and seeing what the price difference are, differences are on some of our regular items. I don't want to. Maybe, nope. maybe we will, maybe we won't. <laughs> Can't make me. All right, so we also have not one, but two cases of sour cream. This was on sale for $17.39 for a six pack, which is a screaming deal. And although the date on here is May 26th. May 26th. That's actually really good. It's but it's about a month out, little over a month. This is going to last us about two months. We have learned that it lasts far past its expiration date. Yeah, sometimes you just got to wipe the uh, green stuff off and it's still good to and go. Let me, and let me tell you why we did this. Because normally, if you buy a single pack of this, it is $4.16 per pack. Yo. When you buy it in bulk and on sale, it goes down to $2.89. So just in these two things of sour cream, we saved another $15. Yikes. Good job. And are you ready? This is where like the biggest price savings comes. Oh yes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I oh, bring me a quarter of something cool and fresh. We have hey, four full gallons of maple syrup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I don't feel so bad drinking it the other day. Are you ready for these numbers? Wait, because this wait, is insane. Okay. Hold the phone. When you are buying from Azure, number one, buy in bulk. Number two, wait for the sales and then buy in bulk. Because this, we basically got close to a free bottle of maple syrup. If you... Yeah, I can drink it. <laughs> so this four pack, four gallons of maple syrup on sale came to 43, I'm sorry, two, <laughs> 43, <laughs> 43 dollars. <laughs> it came to 243.65. When you divide that out, it comes to $60.00. 91 cents each whereas normally if you buy it by the gallon it is 74.44 which means that across $15 across these four, four bottles we saved 54.12 so there we go three items over a hundred dollars rock and roll. isn't that awesome but what you don't want to know is what the pint or the quart oh my goodness you don't want to know that price <laughs> that that's hefty yeah okay so the cassava noodles are something that we actually normally were getting at Thrive Market because a while back the price was cheaper at Thrive Market than anywhere else that I could find them. Now, these were on sale and I checked. This is actually like a hidden extra price savings um, because the case, so you get six boxes of the cassava noodles. Now, mind you, these are small. This is very small for a box of pasta. So when you normally, like we normally use three boxes of pasta, of normal pasta, and you probably use this whole You probably box. have to use a whole box for a meal. We just mm. made two and it was like. I might push back a little bit. I'd say maybe we four. do that, no, well, cut it in half, get two meals out of that, but put it with something else. Okay. So that you can stretch it out. Maybe another vegetable and protein. Okay. You listening? Okay. Anybody? Anyway, yeah. anyway, we normally pay four twenty nine a box with the case at nineteen oh two. These come out to three seventeen a box. Nice. So we saved thirteen forty four just with these two boxes. Good job. We should have gotten more. I don't pay you enough to keep track of this stuff. Good you job. You should not have gotten more. We don't have room for it. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have mandarins. We did a sampling of a couple of the different 
citrus orange type fruits from Azure the other day. And the mandarins were by far the winner by order of all of the children, so I think. So we say golden nugget. Okay. What does that mean? Probably just like the... Type of orange? Yeah. The That's cream of... cheese, Breslin. Isn't don't, that crazy? Don't, don't explode, explode it. it. <laughs> don't explode it. Well, yeah. Like don't, yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! I can totally see you going. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, guys, so this technically is not a new purchase. Getting the full 25 pound box was new. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go. I think that they will probably go through them. I think that they will probably go through them easily. I just am not positive how to space it out. Like, if I'm gonna make them last two weeks, we or should if count you should just them. try and and count how and, many and meals. Calculate I've got them on the that. meal plan for like a variety of breakfasts and snacks. I just, I want to kind of see how long they last as well. Excuse cool. you. What was that? <laughs> 60, 68. Yo. But it's 25 pounds of oranges. Well, if you think about it. And they're got not, you're not going to juice them. Nope. Someone plants this tree, someone trims this tree. Someone picks the orange, packs the orange, stickers the orange, ships the orange. And we get to enjoy it for $66? Okay. So, one of the big selling points for the kids was the fact that these are really easy to peel. So they look like they'd be a pain like, in the butt, but they're... No, they, they're not. Like, they're... It's you, really loosely attached, and yeah. it's a thick, um, rind? Orange? No, peel. Peel. It's a thick peel. Cool. Da, 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 okay, dun. we are down to the last box. Get it. Come on. I guess this is what you get when you have a two thousand dollar order to go. Well, through. not just that, but we also had a massive drop, drop to yeah. coordinate. Yeah. Okay. And it snowed, and we ate dinner. Oh my back. And we went to the storage unit. Oh, dude, that's why I'm so tired. Uh huh. Man, I I'm like. We're missing a few things. Uh, what are you doing? You ready? Yep. All right, this is one of those things that is not easy on the bank account. We have two bottles oh. of vanilla extract. Oh, and I finally, funny. I was going to get the gallon size. I this was. This was another one of those things that got dropped down to the two 32 ounce bottles, which we were kind of slightly, not regretting, but wishing we had ordered the bottles, the yeah, gallon, especially after, we got after the, the fire, fire, the fire yeah. notice. But that's bigger than last week. But I think, I think we're going to be okay on vanilla for a couple months if we have to be. I'm really hoping to get some. What we need to do is watch those little kids. They get that whole that vanilla and they're like glue 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 glue. No. All right. Anyone want to okay. guess how much one of these bottles is? Uh, 62.8. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a crack at it. Hold on a second. We talked about it. Let's see if I can remember. Just what is it? It's a quart? It's 32 ounces. Yeah, it's a quart. It's a quart. Okay, Grayson, move your head. Is this 62.71? Okay, am I close? I'm not saying till these two guests. 43 dollars. 34. I'm sure John here. I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. 45.37. You guys oh. are really close. What did I say? Dad, I said 43? Yeah. Dad, yeah. boy. Oh. He said 36. <laughs> he said 34. Oh, I was. 45, my, 37, my, you're uh, 64. I almost said $45. I don't know why I went 43. That's funny. So, it's expensive. Yeah, Again, yeah. it's one of those things that I want to we'll learn how to make, make our own. But vanilla beans are expensive as well. Like, I remember looking into it, and it varies. Yes, but yes, I've looked yes, into yes. it a number of times and found out that to get the vodka and the vanilla bean or bourbon or whatever kind of alcohol we end up using... It would be more expensive to make our own than to just buy it from a sugar in here. The okay. Yes, there has been. We also have another bottle of laundry detergent. The stock on that's getting pretty good. Why you are ready? You getting All right, creamy. hold on. Because I still haven't gotten a report on if I should keep buying it or not. So the ultra, the ultra free.
premium laundry detergent is $38.76. One of these days we're going to be able to tell you if it's worth it or not <laughs> after we have 10 bottles stocked up. Mom. Now. Oh no, we already have 11. At the advice of Vegan Prepper, we also have the Country Save laundry detergent, which we're going to try and do a little comparison to see what we think between this and some of our other laundry detergents we that we have. Of towels. Or just two loads of kids' clothes or something Back like that, this. Yeah. I just want to make sure that we're doing warm water because if you do cold water, I was reading that you just have to like you have to mix it up and make it a liquid before you do it with cold water. Okay, so the ultra premium laundry detergent at $38 versus the country save laundry detergent at $9.25. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this has, does it tell me how many loads? This one's 40. I think it's like 62 or something. Oh, I'm sorry, 80. 151 loads. That was way off. Hmm. And that's how many? 80? 40 or 80, depending on how you... Regular. So we have a high efficiency Regular. machine. So 80 versus 150. So this is about double, but it's like four times the price. Hmm. So we we'll will see. see. We have apple cider vinegar. Oh! This is something that I have probably not bought in like seven years. Because oh, yeah. we've had so much on stock. And I think we're finally starting to go down because we used to have it at the farm and we, I used oh, to feed me. it to the animals. And so we had a ton of it. Mm -hmm. So oh. I'm finally feeling like we need to replenish our stock. So one of the great things about vinegars is that they last pretty much forever. Oh <laughs> yeah. And the apple cider vinegar, one gallon is just eleven forty six. Are you kidding me? I did it. I did it. Yo. <laughs> We should it's definitely get more. Expensive or cheap? Expensive that, or cheap? That's cheap. cheap. <laughs> All right, so we need okay. to close. My battery is Wait, dying. you ready? Listen, I need to go through and just tell I you what we're missing. Okay. Those. All right. okay. So if you're new to Azure, or if you haven't heard this tip before, this is really important. Every time you get an order, go through it and make sure you've received everything that you have paid for. Because you ready? We're missing quite a few items. We are missing a five pound brick of smoked cheddar. We're missing a lot, actually. A one pound bag of chicken broth powder. A one pound bag of beef broth powder. Two bottles of balsamic Grand Reserve vinegar. Three bottles of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Whatsoever sauce. One pound of mustard seed. One pound of chili powder flakes, one pound of ground cumin, one pound of garlic powder, four ounces of nutmeg, one pound of paprika, one pound of garlic minced, one pound of garlic granules, and three, oh my goodness, no, two, two tubs of cream cheese, two bottles of ginger juice, and three, three, and three jars of jalapenos. Oh. So there's quite a few projects that are now scratched off of our list, which is a bummer. It's okay. And I totally understand it's not like there's not any any animosity here, but do make sure to check your order. Let us your know. They will refund you. It is an inconvenience, but I mean, oh my goodness, we can see it as drop coordinators. The growth that this company is experiencing is through the roof and they're handling it really well. So, it's all Azure, okay. Hats yeah. off, thank yes, you. Thank you. Totally okay. All right, that is it. Since we didn't go through all those items, you've got a little bit of extra time, you can head on over here and watch our Azure Quick Tips playlist.